Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's very, really good to see you again. Okay. I got a new camera. You know what they say, new year, new camera. Autofocus on this one is a lot better. So I can do this, that, dude. I'm all the way over here. So a few months ago, I made a video called The Internet's Most Obvious Lies, where um, I went through posts that were just clearly not true. People just lying on the internet for likes and retweets and stuff. People seem to like it. That was like one of my first videos to get over a million views. And uh, to celebrate, I thought we would go back, look at some more and see why people are still lying on the internet because it hasn't stopped. It's only, it's only gotten worse. Today we're gonna be looking through the Instagram account. Yeah, that definitely happened. And also through the subreddit, that happened. Without further ado, let's get untruthful. <laughs> Today at Walmart, I told the cashier, Merry Christmas. She said, Happy Holidays, ma'am. I smiled and said, you don't have to be afraid anymore. President Trump gave us Christmas back. She started crying tears of joy and said, Merry Christmas and then everyone in the store applauded. Okay, the entire store applauded. So you're telling me the two people that had that conversation between the two of them at the cashier, you're telling me someone all the way in the electronics section was like, oh dude, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, Trump gave us Christmas back. Hey, can I get this TV? <laughs> <laughs> um, my dad got us all Alexas for Xmas and I yelled, Alexa, play Mo Bamba, and the whole house fucking shook, and all seven Alexas started playing it. Dude. <laughs> That's lit. That might be the whitest tweet I've ever seen. Mo Bamba? How about less Bamba? Every time my mom hears me crying in my room, she slips a jewel and some jewel pods under my door. You got a bad mom. <laughs> That's very bad parenting. Dude, actually, my mom's actually sick. She like, whenever I'm sad, she gives me nicotine and it's actually fired. Cause you know, instead of just listening to their problems and you know, just being there for them, here's a jewel. There you go. Get addicted to that and make your problems worse. Right? Funny to think like that's, this is how this mom solves like every problem. Her kid is like playing soccer or something and he like falls and like twists his ankle on, on the on the field. <laughs> she like runs over and like takes out a jewel and like <laughs> sticks in his mouth. Like, come on, let's take a few puffs. We'll be fine. Ma'am, your son needs to go to the Shut hospital. Shut up, he's fine. Here, take a few hits. It's fine. Get lit, dude. My cousin texting this girl. Apparently she on punishment, so she got no phone. My cousin created a Google Doc and they talk by editing the doc. Don't ever say you can't talk to someone. <laughs> So they don't have a phone, but they're using a Google Doc to talk on their computer. It's called Google Doc, not Google Talk. Okay, I should not include that in the video, but I probably will. Y'all still texting? Dude, I talk with my bae through a, a Microsoft Excel sheet, dude. I talk, I make spreadsheets with my bae. <laughs> Day one of student teaching. Teacher, our letter of the week is B. What words start with the letter B? Beer. The rest of the class started chanting, beer, beer, beer. And at 8.37 a.m., I already knew I love my kindergarten students. Hell yeah, dude. I knew I love my kindergarten students because I could have a beer with them. Hey, you're three, right? Well, here you go. Crack open a cold one. Because you're three. Okay, this next one is my favorite, so get ready. My real story. <laughs> I saw a scene kid get getting bullied by two piece of shit jocks today while I was walking to the grocery store for to buy raw men. And there were punching their fuck. And there were punching their fuck out of him, saying, Why do you listen to Metallica and Nightcore, you stupid? Censored. I tap it then on their shoulder and said, Did you know that people have different tastes than your? And your don't see me making fun of you are for listening to Katy Perry, even if I really want to. Their fucking jaws dropped and they ran away in terror. So yeah. I mean, crazy grammar and spelling mistakes aside, if these two bullies were beating up someone being like, why do you are listen to Metallica and softcore you stupid censored? Someone interrupting them and being like, Hey, people have different tastes than you and, and Katy, and, and I don't make fun of you for listening to Katy Perry. Their jaws wouldn't get dropped? 
You would, because they would punch you. That's a term, right? Getting dropped? I'm hip. I got two of them. I'm so hip, okay. This bum at the gas station was so shook that I actually backhanded him for calling me a bitch for not giving him one of my cigarettes. See, it's 2019, bitch, and you will respect me. Okay, well, you should go to jail if this is real, because, oh my god, that's assault. It's 2019, 2019 dude. dude. You gotta, you gotta, I'm, gonna I'm gonna hit people. Hit people. <laughs> that's so 2019, dude. Crimes? Oh my god. Literally just fervently- okay, cool. Cool word, fucking soft boy. Literally just fervently applied my chapstick in the dark like I always do. Didn't feel right, so I snapped a pic with the flash on. Oh, and it's a glue stick. <laughs> if I had a dime, I always keep my chapstick and my glue stick in the same spot. I always keep them in my back pocket. You know, because you never know when you're gonna get chap lips and you never know when you have to make crafts. And of course, there's no other way of checking it other than taking a picture with your flash on. You couldn't have just held your phone up to it to look. You couldn't have put the flash on. No. Nope. You can tell that this person was like using a glue stick and was like, this looks like chapstick. Yo, wouldn't it be funny if someone mixed up the two? <laughs> I'm gonna go lie. <laughs> Feeling thankful. My seven-year-old daughter. Daddy, why does those black guys all sound alike when they sing slash rap? Uh-oh. Me because it's not real rap, it's garbage. Daughter, can you put some Tupac and Easy e on please? You got it, baby. Damn, she knows what's up, hell yeah. There's no way that happened. <laughs> You're driving, you, you know, cause you don't know what driving means unless I did this motion. You're driving your seven year old daughter from the back seat, she's like, Hey dad, why does the current hip hop not sound as good as the as the old hip hop that you used to listen to when you were younger? Oh, I don't know, daughter, who has totally said that and is real. Hey, can you put on Tupac and Easy E? You bet I can do that because this is a real thing that happened and definitely not a way to tell my ignorant opinion about about hip hop. <laughs> nice. Your daughter's not asking for Tupac. She's asking for the baby shark. Okay, and if I'm being honest. Baby Shark slaps way harder than any Tupac song, okay? Sorry. I just opened up my bag of ghost pepper potato chips from Trader Joe's and there's a whole ass potato in the bag. I'm not kidding, an entire potato. I can't even take the bag back because who the hell is gonna believe a full potato was in it? They're just gonna say I put it in there. So not just a whole potato, a whole ass potato. What's an ass potato? Got him. So you're telling me that you picked up a bag of potato chips and didn't feel the huge, hard potato in there, and it's a very, he they're heavy, dude. Potatoes are heavy. Oh, chips, oh, chips my, favorite. my favorite. Oh, weird. Oh, weird. What, is what is this? Is it? it feels like, like a, big a big round, round potato. potato. Oh, 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 must be must just, be a, just chip. a chip. Oh, oh, this, oh this, there's, a there's a potato in here. In here. Time to tweet it. Mama, why is the movie called Jurassic World when there are all kinds of dinosaurs from different periods in the movie? Even my six-year-old knows that this was a mistake. Okay, maybe this happened, but 100%, this person wanted to seem smart by tweeting this, knowing a thing about dinosaurs, but they didn't want to seem like like a, a nerd or like someone trying to like brag, being like, oh, I'm so smart. So they were like, even my six-year-old, my six-year-old totally said this, you know? And I agree because I'm also smart like my six-year-old. Keep it to yourself, you know? Who cares? It's a, it's a movie, you know? You know what else was a mistake? Chris Pratt training raptors. No fucking way, okay? So I'm driving and I notice the guy behind me is cute. So I'm checking him out in my rear view mirror and he dead ass air drops me his number? To the girl staring at me from the really old car. Hope this is you. Hey, both of you. Eyes on the road. What the f- Okay, you have the one person looking in the rear view mirror and you're looking enough to know that he's cute. And then the guy behind is also doing the same and only sees your eyeballs. And is like, oh, this girl, this girl's checking me out, dude. Time to, time to airdrop this girl. I'm, like, I'm gonna write this note and then airdrop it to her. Hopefully it's her. Hopefully it's her. The fact that both of you aren't dead is astounding. Good job. All right, that's destiny. You guys have to be together if this is real, but tis not. I saw a substitute teacher today from high school today, and I asked her if she was who I thought she was, and she said, yes, I remember you from high school. You still have that amazing complexion. I love getting compliments like this. Dude, fuck this person, whoever tweeted that. A substitute teacher from high school is gonna remember how good your skin is? Okay. Oh my god, you're my substitute teacher from, from high school. <laughs> do, you, do you remember yes, me? Yes, you're the one with good skin. 
How could I forget I've been waiting to see you for all these years? Come, come here. Come along. So I can wear it. You know, that's so weird. If a substitute teacher remembers a high school kid for their skin, uh-oh. Take him to jail. My psych professor asked if we'd heard of Pavlov. I said, it rings a bell. No one laughed. I'm too witty for this class. <laughs> Dude, you're fucking cool. This person rocks. <laughs> Is this person Danny Zuko? Because wow, they're cool. We all know Pavlov's dog. You know that thing where they ring a bell and the dog salivates? Wow, such a crazy niche, obscure psychology experiment that everybody learns about and everybody knows about. Whoa, dude, you're so witty. Oh, you're so witty. Dude, how do you go through life being this witty? I just picture this person sitting in every one of their class, like not participating. They're just so upset all the time. Like, I'm too witty for this class. <laughs> I've been taking enormous pleasure this month in very loudly correcting wait staff, Uber drivers, call center employees, cashiers, and other corporate employees and weak-minded collaborators, refusing to politely acknowledge happy holidays and blowing, and blowing, okay, and bellowing. I think you mean Merry Christmas. On more than one occasion, this has produced a ripple of applause in the store or restaurant concerned. Business owners, take note. If you want people to clap in your restaurants, you better disrespect people and what they celebrate during the holiday season. <laughs> Take note, dude. I've said this in my last video, but I've never seen anyone clap for anything other than a fucking, like, a concert. Listen, if a tweet ends in, and then everybody clapped, the beginning of the tweet better be, a band played a song. That makes sense, dude. I'll like that tweet. I'll retweet it. I'll, I'll pin it. I'll fucking pin that tweet. Today at work, some kid came up to me and asked if I knew anything about Pokemon. I then proceeded to name the original 151 in order and answered, yes, I know about Pokemon. The look on his face was priceless. I don't know what the kid said after, but I hope it was just like something like this. Mew and Mewtwo. <laughs> yes, I know something about Pokemon. Yeah, you guys are right. He's a fucking nerd. I hope that happened. Probably didn't. Because... This didn't happen. Explaining what you're a snack means to my mom. Mom, oh, in that case, I'm a whole ass Thanksgiving meal. That snack shit is weak. My mom is a whole 2019 mood. <laughs> Dude, mom, you're a 2019 mood. If I had a kid and they said that to me, I wouldn't have a kid anymore. I'd have to ship them somewhere. It's off some boarding school, put them up for adoption. This is my mom or how I like to call her. A whole 2019 mood. You can call her either or. She responds to either. <laughs> I remember there was a girl on her phone at a movie theater, so I dumped my drink on her and her phone. The entire audience cheered for me, and I got a thumbs up from the owner of the theater. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. So the one person on their phone during the movie, and everyone is just staring at them, being like, oh man, I hope someone pours her drink on her and her phone. And they do it, and everyone's like, ah, yes. <laughs> Finally. Now I can watch the movie. And then in the pitch black theater, the owner is there. <laughs> all right, good. Now I have to clean all that up. Good, love that. Thanks for doing that. I gotta file an incident report because she's absolutely gonna complain. Thanks, haha, <laughs> nice. This is my theater. Thumbs up. Sometimes I can't sleep because around 1998, my brother bought loads of cheap shares in Google. He wanted to be rich, so to make us all use Google, he started saying that he was Googling things. We all made so much fun of him that he sold his shares again immediately. Let's look to see when Google went public. Why the fuck you lying? Tweet busted. Bill Gates in a restaurant. After eating, he gave $5 to the waiter as a tip. The waiter had a strange feeling on his face after the tip. Gates realized and asked, what happened? Waiter, I am just amazed because on the same table your daughter gave tip of $500, and you, her father, the richest man in the world, gave just $5? Gates smiled and replied, She is the daughter of the world's richest man, but I am the son of a woodcutter. Moral, never forget your past, it's your best teacher. Uh, the moral, Bill Gates is an asshole, if this is true. This is true, Bill Gates, you should jump out of windows. That was a bad joke, okay? I'm sorry. I went too hard on him. I should have... Went soft. Microsoft. Okay. To me, a lot of these people who tweet these are just trying to like flex online, really. There's just subtle ways to compliment themselves and make other people think they're awesome without being like, I'm awesome and I'm good. Tweet. Everybody on the internet 
fibs a little bit. I think they exaggerate certain parts of their personality. You know, it's everyone does that. But I think if you're <laughs> just straight up lying to make yourself seem cooler, it's, it's a big uh oh. You shouldn't do that. And hey, if you think you're really cool and smart and awesome and amazing, that's great, okay? A lot of people don't think that. But you should just keep it to yourself and um, tell the truth, okay? Or don't tell the truth because then I can't make these videos anymore and they're a lot of fun. So you know what? Keep lying, all right? Keep it up. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, press the lie button. I'm sorry, the like button. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see a part three of this in the future because I'd love to make one. And also, if you ever see any great lies on the internet, DM me on Instagram and be like, this is a, a lie. Put it in your next video. And I'll be like, okay, great. I'm always looking for the lies, okay? Make sure to press the subscribe button if you haven't already because I make a video every week and there's so much fun. And you'll get an extra greeting at the beginning of every video, so... Smash it, dude. Smash that button. Check the description for links to my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, links to my podcast that I do every week called Very Really Good. It's so much fun. I just talk about random crap for an hour and it's a great time. And there's also a Patreon for that podcast where you can get early access to episodes and a monthly bonus video episode. So check that out if you want. Stay tuned for part three where I talk about the internet's most obvious metal hydroxide because a lie is a metal hydroxide. Even my six-year-old knows this, come on. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon, peace out. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more from me, then click on some videos on the screen here and don't forget to press that subscribe button. All right, guys, peace out.